Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of FreePock Downloader, which enables you to download and install apps by FreePock. Today I'm going to show you how to use FreePock Downloader. If you haven't already watched my other video about how to install FreePock Downloader on your phone and watch, please take a look. The link is in the notes to this video. So let me open the app on my phone. And there's an information screen that explains how the app works, which is worth reading at your leisure. But for now, let's tap Done. Now we're asked to grant permission for FreePock Downloader to install other apps. Note that FreePock Downloader only installs verified apps from FreePock and not from anywhere else. So let's tap OK and Allow unknown apps. And we also need to give notifications permission so that the app can inform us when updates are ready to be installed. Let's tap OK and allow. Now, finally, we need to ensure that the app isn't added to the deep sleep list. Let's tap OK and allow. So we now see a scrolling list of all of FreePox apps in alphabetical order. For each app, you can see whether it's for your phone, for your watch or both. And you can also see whether the app is on the Play Store from this other icon here. Now, at this point, if you already have one or more existing apps from FreePock that have pending updates, FreePock Downloader will download the update and immediately offer you the option to install. That's not the case here, however, on this phone. So now let me move my phone slightly to the side and open FreePock Downloader on the watch. Now, we've already granted permission when we installed this app via Wear Installer 2, so we can just tap OK. And the app is waiting for us to do something on the phone. So let's find an app that has both a watch and a phone component. Let's say where media toggle, you can see phone and watch, and let's tap it. Now, the watch app asks for notification permission as we did on the phone. Let's just allow that. That's just happens once. And now we can tap OK. And we get a note on both devices saying that updates are ready to install. Let's start with the watch. Install. Do I want to install where media toggle? Yes, I do. And it's installing. Installation successful. Now on the phone. Do I want to install this app? Yes. Just take a few seconds. installation successful. So now let's try something different. Let's install an app. Um, let's say where heart rate. This one is just for the watch and it has a Play Store icon which means that it will be installed from the Play Store rather than from directly from Freebox. So let's tap on that. Getting app from Play Store install and while it's installing uh, let me just give a little bit more information so overnight FreePock Downloader will check for app updates for FreePock apps both on your phone and your watch if an update is available it will be automatically downloaded and you'll see a notification to that effect when you see a notification tap on it and you'll be able to install the update 
Alternatively, if the FreePoc app is on the Play Store, it will be updated by the Play Store as normal. So you can see that where heart rate has been installed uh, from the Play Store and uh, we can open it, uh, but I won't in the interest of time. So let's just take a quick final look at the main menu, a couple of things there. Uh, setup will show the initial screen that we saw at the at the start when we opened the app with uh, various instructions. Website takes you directly to the FreePoc downloads page on the web. And videos show uh, this video about using FreePoc Downloader and also the video on how to install it, just in case you need to check them again. And finally, about shows you about dialog. So that's a brief introduction to using FreePoc Downloader. In another video, I'll show you how to install the app on both devices using Where Installer 2. I'll include a link to that video and to my FreePoc website in the notes below. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.